crooked fingers. I have a crooked arm. I have scars completely covering my chest, my back, my face. I'm bald, 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 both my arms, my legs. I'm just on a nipple, my breasts are too low. And that's the short list. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the long list, come see me later, I'll tell ya. You. you know, and I can probably rattle off 50 more things that are wrong with me. But do you honestly think my friends are seeing that? They aren't seeing it. They're seeing how my big green eyes, they're seeing my spirit, they're seeing my cute little nose, they're seeing my great smile, they're seeing my cute little hot ass. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> love your whole body, you don't have to. But go and look in the mirror and give yourself permission to love all those little parts we love about you. Because when you go back to the mirror, you're going to see all those amazing little parts that you love. And when people ask me what motivates you, you motivate me. When I have a woman that comes up to me and says, Kel, every word you said I resonated with, you make me want to live. You don't think that brings tears to my eyes. When a child or a teenager comes up to me this past summer, I got to speak at a 4-H leadership camp. I love it there because I was in 4-H. And this teenage girl comes up to me and she's got tears in her eyes. She says, I wanted to commit suicide. But you make me want to live. Can I phone you the next time I'm thinking about suicide? Absolutely. In fact, you better phone me. That's why I give out my number. That's why I want you to text me if you need a problem, if you have a problem, or you need help. Because that's what this world is all about. Our value is not in how much money we make or we don't make. Our value is in the acts of service that we provide to others. And I was actually quite mad when I was in Kenya. I really felt like I was being taken advantage of, and they were trying to steal books from me, and they were stealing money from me, and one minute left? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, no, no. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> so, that's 15 minutes went by in 5 minutes. I'm, I think you should start the clock again. <laughs> Oh, 
someone out there. So look at yourself and stop being so hard on yourself. And start realizing that you are an amazing woman or an amazing man and you deserve every bit of love and success and happiness and everything that you deserve in your life. You deserve to have it. And so that's why I live. It's because I cannot imagine not being a speaker. And I remember my sister telling me, you need to go get a job. You're not making enough money. And my ex-husband telling me the same thing. You need to go get a job. And I think about job speaking. And when I think about getting a job, I cry instantly. Because I know that that would destroy my soul. So if you want to be motivated, do what inspires your soul. Do what makes your soul sing and dance. Because those are the days you're going to love and remember in your life. And that is when you are going to be totally motivated to do whatever it is that you want in your life. So thank you. <laughs>